I know the title may be a little deceiving, but it's not what you think. I'm still here, but this will no longer be here. I'm gonna put it on one last time. And while I do that, I'm gonna talk to you about why I will no longer be wearing this black underbust corset from Timeless Trends. Okay, so obviously the title was a bit clickbaity, which <laughs> no shame. All right, now the reason why I will no longer be wearing this corset, and this is probably the last time in a while that you see me in this corset, is because it has been causing me pain. Now, some of you may know that the rib and hip spring on this specific corset is not for my body type. My underbust is 35 and a half, I rounded up to 36, and my hips, around my hips, are about 38, 39 inches. Whoa. And based on my waist size, which is between 29 and 31 inches, and my corset size, which is between 24 and 26 inches, I need a rib spring of about 8 to 10, and a hip spring of about 10 to 12. This corset has a rib spring of 4 inches, and a hip spring of 7 inches. So I think you know what I'm about to say. I either have to lose an exceeding amount of weight and or train my rib bones and hip bones to become a little bit smaller, which I really do not want to do, at least for right now. Or I need to lose a lot of weight. And the last time I checked, when, you're, when you lose weight, your ribs kind of stay the same and your hips stay the same. When I was about 115, 120 pounds, my underbust was between 32 and 33 inches. But based on my corset, I would need about a 28 inch underbust in order to close this corset and be comfortable. Keyword, comfortable. Yes, in the past, you saw me close this corset, but it caused me pain and I don't want to wear anything that causes me pain, especially corsets, which are already taboo to begin with. So what I'm gonna do with this corset is I'm gonna wear it maybe an hour or two today, especially cause I wanna make this last video. So I wanna wear the corset, but this corset will be going into auction, I guess, for my giveaway. Once I get monetized on this channel, I'm going to be doing a huge giveaway of most of my corsets, some of them that no longer fit me, some of them that fit me, but I just don't wear. I hope some of you are not mad at me or displeased with me, as I know I said in the past that I wanted to close this corset by summer, end of summer. I kept changing it up because I was in pain with this corset and it just wasn't fitting me the way I initially thought it would when I first bought it. And to be honest, I was a little ignorant when it came to rib and hip springs. I just didn't have any information on it, or at least I did have information on it, but I just really didn't care about purchasing a corset that had the correct rib and hip spring. So you know, my fault for purchasing this corset. <sighs> I'm probably not going to wear this corset. So it just causes me pain when I'm sitting down. Not down here mainly, it's mainly up here. I get a lot of red marks. I just feel my ribs pushing in and I'm not wearing corsets, like I said, to train my ribs. I don't want my ribs, you know, getting any smaller than they currently are. I'm fine with my rib size, but yeah, guys, so. Let me know your thoughts, questions, comments, concerns in the comments, and I'll see you guys later. Okay guys, it's been a couple of hours. Nothing new with this corset. It's not hurting me right now, but I know if I tighten it up, it will. I am taking it off because I'm gonna go for a walk, probably like a 20 minute walk because I lost track of time and it's gonna be a sunset pretty soon. this is getting taken off I say goodbye to this corset she will be missed but hopefully one day she can go to a good home and I'll give you guys more information about the giveaway giveaway when the time comes and it gets closer to that time so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys later